Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Aries. This is going to be your beginning to middle of May spread. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy, link is going to be down below. And definitely go check that out because we posted a new item to the shop, and I'm going to talk about that more in the ending announcements. And make sure to go check out my new Instagram, I pull daily tarot cards, I share channeled messages, spells, talk about energy shifts, and I share updates on my YouTube channel and Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at CosmicTides underscore, and that information is going to be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies can be interchangeable, so feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along. So I see a situation's unbalanced between you and somebody else. I see you could be mad at this person. And this person really wants your forgiveness. For some of you, especially with these two cards here, I'm seeing this as a relationship and a friend. So you could be dealing with two of these scenarios. Or for some of you, these scenarios can be happening both in your relationship sector and in your friendship sector. And I was also picking that up in the Leo mid to end April reading. We also have the Leo card here. So you could be connecting with the Leo, have Leo in your chart, or be dealing with someone who has Leo in their chart. But definitely go check out that reading because they were dealing with a very similar scenario. I believe they were dealing with a relationship in group one and then a friendship in group two and then some of you guys are going to have both of this occurring at the same time, okay? So, like I said, I definitely see something is unbalanced between you and someone else. Like I said, for some of you, this could be a friendship. For others of you, this is going to be a relationship. And for some, this is going to be both, okay? And either way you resonate, I definitely see this person wants your forgiveness. They want plans to work out perfectly. This person wants the sun to come out for you guys. This person has hope that everything will work out perfectly. Yeah, they want the sun to come out again on this relationship, on this friendship. They want the sun to shine again for you guys. And this person is really wanting to reach out to you and ask for your forgiveness. They're hoping that can change the situation. Because you guys have a lot of fun together, whether this is a relationship or a friendship, there's a lot of chemistry between you guys, and you guys have shared a lot of good times. And again, this person wants change in this situation. They want a new beginning with you. And this person really is wanting to reach out and send you a message. Yeah, they're really wanting to take fiery action and communicate with you. Again, they want to take action and they want to ask for your forgiveness. But I just see this person is taking a temporary pause in action right now. They're trying to like build up their confidence before they decide to take charge and manifest something with you. So I'm seeing this person has like a hard time communicating even over here. Yeah, I see this person has a hard time communicating. They're being asked to get grounded in this time, which I'm also seeing over here too. Yeah, it's like this person has to build up their confidence. Um, I'm also seeing there's like a lot of nervous energy behind this. So I see it would benefit this person to spend time in nature to get grounded in this time. It's like because this person has this lack of self-confidence, it's like making it hard for them to express themselves. And again, it would benefit this person to be by nature, like especially flowers I'm seeing. Okay, because working with flowers opens their heart and brings blessings to others through their life purpose. And I see this person could be like rehearsing or practicing like what they want to say to you. Again, because it's like they have a hard time expressing themselves right now, which is why they're taking this temporary pause in action. They're trying to get clarity so they know what they want to say to you, which is also why it would benefit this person to get grounded in this time. For some of you, if this is a relationship, again, I just see this person's trying to figure out what to say to you. I see this person could be thinking about buying you flowers. And again, like they're writing something. For a handful of you guys, I see you could be connecting with someone who is a musician, especially if you're like in a relationship with someone, if you're dating somebody. I'm definitely seeing this person could be like writing you a song because they don't know how to express it with words, but they do know how to express it with music. Okay, so I definitely see they're writing you a song and they're going to buy you flowers. That's the kind of vibe that I'm picking up here. I'm also seeing this is part of this person's life purpose to learn how to properly express themselves and speak their truth. And again, I see being by nature is not only going to be grounding for them, but it's going to open their heart chakra. 
and again, um, brings them closer to their life purpose. For a lot of you, I just see this person could be rehearsing like what they're trying to say to you. Like I said, because this person is so nervous and like they're having a really hard time expressing themselves and like they just want to say the right thing. Either way you resonate with this situation, I'm just seeing really strongly here that it's like this person's life purpose to learn to speak their truth. Like there's something really powerful behind that I'm getting. And we have relationships. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. And friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And what I'm hearing from this, if this is a relationship, this person really feels like you're a good choice when it comes to love. They feel like you encourage them to be a better self. They feel like you're a good friend and a partner, which I was picking up over here too. It's like no matter which way you look at it, if this is a friend or a relationship, it's like you guys have great chemistry. It's like you guys just get along so well and you guys have a lot of fun together. And they're really grateful to have you in their life. And they feel strongly that you're in their life for a reason. And again, it's like this person really wants your forgiveness. So I see they just really want to say the right thing to you. So it's like they're rehearsing, they're rehearsing. Definitely someone's like trying to buy flowers or something. It's like they just want to make this the best apology they can to like win you back, I'm getting. And if this is a friendship, this person really feels like you make them a better person. Again, they feel like you are in their life for a reason. This person feels like you're their sole family. And again, it's like you guys just get along so well. They feel like you're a great friend to have in their life and they're so grateful to have you in it. Whether this is a friendship or a relationship, I just see this person is really thankful for you being in their life through the good and the bad. This person definitely has been on quite a journey with you. And it's like looking back at it, this person feels strongly like the universe put you in their life for a reason and they're just grateful for all the ups and downs and all the times that you guys shared together. I just see this person has so much gratitude for the part that you played in their journey. And again, I just see this person is really wanting your forgiveness. They want to be friends again or if this is a relationship, they want to get back together. Okay, so... That's basically what I got for you guys. So like I said, definitely go check out that Leo mid to end April reading. Time is fluid. You can be connecting with the Leo. Have Leo in your chart. Be connecting with someone who has Leo in their chart. But definitely go check that out because it's going to give you extra information on this situation. If you resonated only with the relationship part, go check out part one of that reading. If you resonated with the friendship part, go check out group two of that reading. And like I said earlier, for some of you, as well as I said in that video, um, some of you are going to have both of these occurring both in your love sector and your friendship sector at the same time okay so you're gonna resonate with this both ways okay so that's what I got for you guys some signs that popped up in here Libra Leo Leo Sagittarius Taurus Aries okay so that's what I got for you guys make sure you check your chart whoever you're connecting with go check out their chart too also go check out my spiritual store on Etsy link is gonna be down below and definitely go check that out because me and my mom have been working really really hard to make you guys some really cool space face masks so if you guys like space planets and constellations definitely go check them out they come two in a pack and link is gonna be down below and also go listen to my music on all major platforms and SoundCloud. And also go check out my Instagram at CosmicTides underscore. I pull daily tarot cards, channeled messages, all that good stuff. So definitely go check that out and keep being great. I'll see you next week. Bye!